All right, coders, today is the day we are actually going to be building our game. And again, just to remind ourselves of what it looks like, it has the directions on the side. And then as I guess, the directions change to whatever I need to know about my numbers. And eventually, if I guess the number correct tells me that I'm correct. How are we going to make this game? Let's go to a new space. And I gave us five steps. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our space. So I know I want my guesses to go in this column, and then I know I'm gonna be building my formulas in column B. So now it says think about the possibilities. So whenever someone takes a guess, they could be too low, they could be too high, they could be correct, or they could have not guessed yet, right? So those are the four situations I want to make sure I build into my code so that something always happens when they type their guess. So I know that if I have more than two options, I'm going to need to use equals IFS. And I'm going to need to pick a number just to start off with. Um, let's make my number be 27. So if this box says 27, I want the computer to say correct. And I put it in quotation marks because it's a word. Then if this box is less than 27, I want the computer to say too low. If this box is a number that's greater than 27, I want the computer to read out too high. And my final one was if they haven't guessed yet. And if they haven't guessed yet, that means this box is equal to zero because nothing's there. If that box equals to zero, I want them to take a guess. All right, so I have my four options. Hmm, right now it says this is too low. Ah, I know why. It's because this is at the end, right? But remember, the computer reads from left to right, just like us. So it's going to check in this order. So it's automatically stopping because zero is less than 27. So it stops at this step. So if I want the computer to think about this first, I'm just going to copy it and move it over here. So now the computer will get check. If it's 27, it's correct. If it's nothing, it'll say take a guess. If it's less, then it'll say too low. And if it's greater, it'll say too high. So now let's see if that works. There we go. So if I take a guess, let's see. Too high, that's right. How about we guess one? Too low, let's guess 27. Correct. All right, so far it looks good. I'm going to move on to step three, which is drag it and drag it kind of far down, go all the way down to there. And I'm just going to try as many numbers as I can. 76, um, 11, 22, 26, 28, 49, or 48, and then we just 49. All right. And the reason why I'm checking is I want to make sure that all of these make sense, that the computer is following the program correctly. So if I check these, they all look like they are correct. 
And now, hopefully, when I delete all of my numbers, everything should go back to take a guess. All right, that's good. Then the final step is to format it. Because if we look back at my original game, everything's color coded so that it makes it easier for the person playing to know if they're winning or losing or how close they are. So I'm going to highlight B and I'm going to go to conditional formatting, which we did in the last lesson. And I want to use that text is exactly button because if it's exactly too low, I want that to be, how about like a light yellow? And then right from here, I'm going to add another rule. And if the text is exactly too high, I want that to be like a red color. Red. And if the text is exactly correct, oops, we don't need quotation marks. Then I want it to be green. I want it to be a brighter green though. Let's make it be that green. And I'm just going to leave take a guess white. So now we're going to test it again. I should add that here. So now when we test it again, let's try it. Let's guess 50. Too high. Let's guess 25. Too low. Let's guess 35. Too high. 26. Too low, 29, too high, 27, correct. All right, so, so far it looks good. And all I would need to do to have someone play my game is to share it with them and then they can take guesses. And if I wanna switch my game, all I have to do is I have to click the first take a guess box. And instead of 27, I can change it to about 82. And anytime I see a 27, I want to change it to 82 because now my new mystery number will be 82. It's really important that I remember to drag this all the way down. Otherwise, only the top one will check for 82 and all the rest would have stayed 27. So anytime I change my top box, I want to drag using the square, drag it all the way down so that everything updates. Now, you might be wondering, hey, if I click on this box, I can see right here that the mystery number is 82. So next week, I'll teach you how to stop cheating. Okay? Because when you send this to someone, technically, they can just look in any of these boxes and know what your number is. So next week, we'll take a look at how we can hide this from them so that they really do have to guess to find the mystery number. All right. See you later.